Okay, we're doing this. <laughs> okay, I don't think that there's ever gonna be a real way for me to know what the right way to come back to this channel is, but I guess this is it, <laughs> and um, I just wanna explain a few things. Um, losing Lemon, Mimi, and Almond sucks. You know, I'm still grieving, and so thinking about making videos or even getting gerbils again. I will, I will, <laughs> but just cleaning out the enclosure, everything to do. I've just been blocking it all out of my head, but I am trying to get back to the place where I want to be. Now, I'm just gonna apologize that this isn't really a video where you guys come for right, to learn about pet care, to see the gerbils and the rabbits and just in general the pets but I wanted to and I know that you're not here for embroidery but I wanted to incorporate embroidery because well art is a huge part of my life and it's also how I cope and how I have been coping with all of this so I thought I would try and make a series on embroidering lemon uh, because I never want anyone to forget Beanie Lemon and Almond. For this video, I'm gonna tell you a lot about what I'm doing here, so you can still follow along, even if you don't really know anything about embroidery. I'm really bad at finishing projects, so I hope <laughs> that I continue this one, but I also want to talk a lot about Lemon, and so that you get to know Lemon even more than was shown in the videos that I made of them because Lemon is a lot more than just a few minutes of the videos that she's been in and she, I just, I think everyone deserves to know the amazingness of Lemon and all the gerbils and I will get to that. Anyway, so basically I created a design, I'm just retracing my own design that I made of a photo, of a photo of one of the gerbils. I want to say it was lemon, that would be great. I can't remember, but um, just retracing it to make the line smoother. And then I'm using a new uh, item that I recently purchased and I like a lot. It's a Cree Cut Easy Press Mini. It's basically a really small uh, ceramic iron made for crafts so that you can transfer images and transfer different things or just smooth out things uh, with multiple crafts. In this case, I'm going to be transferring the image of the uh, drawing I made of Lemon and I'm going to be transferring it to fabric so that I can embroider over it because having a reference when you're embroidering is practically necessary because otherwise all your proportions are just going to if you try to do it just by eye, I mean, some people do it amazingly. My first gerbil uh, embroidery and my first embroidery project at all, uh, I did by eye and you can kind of see uh, lots of mistakes uh, anatomy wise, but I also quickly want to apologize for the exposure, <laughs> making it impossible for you to see the wrinkles in the fabric because I thought it would be super satisfying to have it be shown uh, the iron smoothing out those wrinkles but here we are with um, my many mistakes <laughs> now I like to double up the fabric instead of using just one layer or one cut sheet to put into the hoop I like to use two or just fold it in half because 
That way it looks more solid and your eyes stay focused on the art. Fabric is a very see-through material, so. But anyways, so here you're gonna see me just ironing out in all directions and then I, I suck at ironing. I don't really think I just, I've never learned how to iron anything like specifically in a straightforward way. I just kind of see a wrinkle, I pass the heat over it and that's what I'm doing. So uh, come for me if you like, uh, if you're cringing at this way <laughs> that I'm ironing out the wrinkles because I just, I don't know. So I've tried a million ways on how to transfer a pattern onto fabric and I've hated several of them and this is the current one that I like now this is not meant for transferring um, images with the purpose of embroidering over it the material is made for t-shirts and stuff and it does feel a bit different when you are embroidering over it however it doesn't matter to me and also because since I am embroidering over it that texture goes away and I could do a full video. I think I may have. Maybe I have a video. Yes, I have a video on transferring and why I do this and what to do. But basically, here I am doing it the way I love. <laughs> and so, just cutting out my design, uh, following the instructions the way that needs to be done. If you notice, there's this rectangle that I will uh, point out in editing that really makes me mad because if I had cut it a bit rounder like I said this uh, way of transferring it leaves a little bit of a film it's like barely noticeable unless you've made such a sharp uh, cut which I did that rectangle should be more circular so that you do not notice the film at all but uh, unfortunately I did not notice that and I kind of forgot about it as well so so uh, it's gonna have like this in certain lighting you'll see that little rectangle sticking out and that really bothers me <laughs> but I don't know maybe they maybe the final product will make it not noticeable your eyes will be too focused on the gerbil to notice really maybe I'll cover it up in a different way who knows we'll see but now here I'm just pressing it. This is the scariest part for me because you have to apply the heat and enough pressure so that the whole design goes on and so that it goes on evenly and you don't get a blurry effect because it moved during the process. Luckily that did not happen for me. However, I designed this using just a regular pencil tool on the iPad. And I wish that I used the pen tool because it is kind of light and uh, in real life it's not that big of a deal. And since the I, the lines aren't thin on purpose, I like the size of the lines but I wish they, they were darker. But um, you live and you learn, that's what happened. And this part was supposed to be so satisfying, but one, once again, the exposure, you can't see me peeling and reviewing the design properly. And also it didn't come out in one, uh, just one go. So uh, I'm just failing all over the place. But no line was left behind. So it was a success. No fabric had to be wasted <laughs> at least. And so here I'm just, Again, one of the techniques to remove the film that the transfer paper kind of gives is to take a regular piece of paper. I just kind of used the printer paper that I used to center the image so that I could place it in the hoop correctly uh, and just start ironing over it and it takes off some of that film. And in the end, finally, we get to put it in the beautiful hoop before we begin the whole real, true process of creating lemon. And I'm really excited about it. I'm crying. I'm going to be crying a lot <laughs> off camera or at least muted while I'm doing this, even editing this video and making the design oh my god it was so hard because I, it's just a lot you know memories blah. 
but here we are this is gonna be like a healing project and i hope that it turns out well i've had this design before and i have uh embroidered this before i never finished it of course because classic me but i didn't like a lot of things about it so this is like a a remodeled renewed re new meaning uh thing so here we are and um yeah so i guess that's part one i really hope you like it and i hope that you like the process i hope it's soothing thank you guys for sticking around i will be making videos like i used to again and i hope to soon but thank you for sticking around anyway and thank you for watching bye